Unlocking the phrase, to bring to an end. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning journey. Today, we're going to explore an interesting English phrase, to bring to an end. This phrase is a common way to express the completion or conclusion of something, and understanding how to use it correctly can really enhance your English communication skills. Let's dive in and unlock the meanings and applications of this phrase together. The phrase, to bring to an end, means to cause something to stop or to conclude something. It's often used when talking about ending activities, events, or processes. This expression is quite formal and is commonly found in written language, though it can also be used in spoken English in more formal or official contexts. Examples of usage include, the company decided to bring the project to an end after two years of development. After a lengthy discussion, they brought the meeting to an end. Understanding synonyms and variations can help you enrich your vocabulary. Some common synonyms for, to bring to an end, include, to conclude, to terminate, to finish, to close. Each of these can be used in slightly different contexts, but they all convey the idea of ending something. Let's look at how, to bring to an end, can be incorporated into sentences to enhance clarity and formality in communication. Formal announcement. The board has decided to bring the ongoing investigation to an end due to a lack of evidence. Academic writing. This study aims to bring the debate on this subject to an end by providing conclusive evidence. Business email. We need to bring this phase of the project to an end before we can allocate resources to the next phase. Now, it's your turn to practice. Try creating your own sentences using, to bring to an end. Think about an event, a personal project, or a professional task you would like to conclude and describe it using this phrase. Thank you for joining me in exploring the phrase, to bring to an end. I hope this video has been informative and helpful in understanding how to use this phrase effectively in your English communication. Remember, learning a language is a journey, and every new phrase you learn opens up new ways to express yourself. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to bring any doubts or questions to an end by reaching out or commenting below. See you in our next lesson.